Welcome back to the Browns Build Stuff. We are going to make a rock separator today or grizzly screen, whatever you want to call it. That's what it looks like. There's my diagrams that I went off of. Um, I didn't really draw it out. I just kind of built it on the fly. So um, this is all just angle iron, quarter wall angle iron, uh, three by three and two by two. Uh, the frame is three by three and the, uh, the rock separator bars are two by two by quarter. Um, and that worked out pretty good. It's definitely rigid enough. Um, but uh, it, it depends on what, what you're going to use it for and how big how big of rocks you're putting through it. Um, what I'm using it for is mainly rocks around six inches or so. Um, that that seems to be the average size of my rocks. Every once in a while, you get one bigger. Uh, but the bigger rocks, you just kind of pick out by hand or, you know, with the, with the bucket of the tractor and separate it that way. Right, so I ended up making my spacing two and a half inches. It's, it's a, an odd number uh, of, of spaces, and that's just so it would work out even uh, across there. I ended up using a tool uh, to do it. I made a tool. I don't normally recommend doing stuff that way. I normally would recommend laying it out, doing the math and lay, laying it out. Uh, but on this, it's a rock separator. It really doesn't matter that much. Uh, it worked out fine. Um, those were forklift pockets that I just put on. That's what those goofy tubes were. Those aren't bracing. Those are pockets. Uh, now that's so I can. Uh, that's just so I can pick it up uh, evenly because my. Uh, so I don't have to put my forklift extensions on to pick it up. Uh, that way, that way, there's just kind of some extensions put in there, and and it won't be able to fall off. It, it'll just hold it. Otherwise, it it'll, it would just fall to the back since my fork's not long enough to hit beyond center on it. So that's what those were for. Uh, they're going to be awkward to use, but I had to angle them up just so I could get to the dirt underneath. Uh, that's why I angled them up like that. So to pick it up it is a little more awkward than if they were just straight. All right, so I'm out behind the back of the shop and I gotta remove a couple trees and do all that fun stuff. But uh, as I get dirt, I just put it through our screen that we made uh, and it works pretty good. Um, the only problem I have with it is I made it so tall and it, it really isn't necessary that it's so tall. Um, I could have made it quite a bit shorter. <laughs> I probably could have saved material. Um, instead of cutting the, the lengths in half, I think I could have just cut them in thirds um, and then used a third less material. Uh, making it because there's there's really no reason for it to go up as high as I made it um, So if I were to do it again, I probably would do it that way um, And the other thing I would do is probably not have it as much of an angle um, I probably would have made it go flatter uh, because it's so easy just to shake the thing around um, Even if everything got stuck on it um, you, you could easily just uh, Shake the shake the thing around and everything would would uh, kind of work itself out. So um, make it a little flatter make it uh, not quite so tall 